Hello, welcome to, hello, welcome to this PHP tutorial. Uh, we will uh, here create a simple form and use the get methods to get the data and give something back to the user. If you haven't installed PHP already, go to port.com slash en, click on PHP, go for installation, and just follow the steps here, it's very easy. When you have installed PHP, just launch WAMP server, and then you should be able to go to localhost. It should look something like this. Okay, then just go to you to your BBV folder and create a new folder inside here, and let's call it uh, distance. Velocity time. If you press F5 on your localhost now, you should see that in your project there should uh, the folder should appear. So the URL for this project will be localhost slash distance velocity time. Okay, great. Let's go ahead and create an index file here. New text document called index date dot php super so all php files starts with uh, this line here php and it ends like this php so if we press f5 here we will see a blank screen this means everything works so let's create the form This is how I add comments. So this is now a comment. So here is my form and I will write echo. And echo prints something into the screen. And here is my form. And the method can either be post or get and we will use get now. Method equals get. And then we need to add the encrypt multipart form data. So we started the form, so we need to quit the form here. And now we can add the input fields. So we just start a paragraph, full text, and we want to use it to enter uh, distance. And the input fields are very easy. Just input type equals text, and size equals 10. Okay, if we save now, we will have a field where it says distance. So let's create the same for time. So just uh, start the same for time, input, type, full text, size, 10. Okay, we have created two fields, so now we just need to name the fields. So the first one is uh, type equals text, name equals input distance. The second one is input type. Okay, now we have two fields with names. Now we just need to create a button to submit the form. And it's very easy input type equals submit. Value send form. Okay. Oh, sorry. So now when we press here, we will send the form. But we haven't said where we want to send the form to. And this needs to be specified in the form uh, tag. So the method of, uh, the method of specifying it is the right action here. Action equals. And we just want to send it to index.php. 
Okay, so if we press send form here, something magic will happen. Oh, did you see that? The address is index.php, input distance equals something, input time equals something. So if I want to run 3000 meters in 14 minutes, you can see that I now got 3014 in the URL here. Okay, so let's go ahead and process the data. Uh, so the method of getting input distance and input time is to use uh, the get. So first we need to check if there is any data at all. And this is the isset method. So if is set dollar underscore get input distance now we know that the distance is set and is set dollar underscore get input time And now we know that the time is set. Echo. We are calculating. Okay. So here it says we are calculating. And if I remove everything here, it says nothing. Because distance and time is not set. Let's get the data. Input distance equals underscore get input distance. Okay, and the time, input time equals get input time. Oh, let me just explain the formula first. Formula. If we have distance, it equals uh, velocity times uh, time. And we want to find the velocity. So then we need to do uh, the distance. we need to do is divide by time here and we have to divide by time here and then we have distance divided on time equals velocity which is the same as uh, velocity equals distance over time so to calculate velocity calculate velocity we need to have the input distance divided on input time and velocity is now in minutes per second Okay, let's try to print it up. Oh, division by zero. Yeah, because we have nothing in time. So let's try to write 3000 meter, 14 minutes. So we get this strange number. And this is why, this is the reason uh, because the time is in minutes. So let's go ahead up here and write uh, a bit smaller size, five in size, and write minutes here. And up here, and write meter. So now we know that the user should enter meter and minutes. Let's just look how, uh, see how it looks. 
So distance, meter, time, minutes. So uh, the formula will now be the distance is in meter, the time is in minutes. So now we need to do something, we need to uh, uh, quantify this is more correct. Now we get 3.57 uh, meter per second as the answer. And to uh, calculate it as a uh, kilometer per hour, we just do velocity equals velocity times 3600 divided with 3.6. 3.6, and now we have the velocity in kilometer per hour. So now we have created a very easy calculator. Where we can enter the meter we want to run and the time we have to run it in and get the velocity we need to have in meter per second and in kilometer per hour. So a cool assignment for you would be after I have entered distance and time I want the number to appear in this box and this box after I sent the form. So if I write 2008, no, if I write 5000 here, and uh, 20 here, and then send the form, I want the numbers to still be here. This is assignment for you. How can we do this? Uh, assignment number two is to have the time in both minutes and seconds. So you can enter minutes and seconds. You can either have two boxes or you can ask the user to do something like this and then calculate. So two uh, cool assignments for this uh, calculator.